Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsusti, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Well, last time we built this, or we designed this contraption here to load Shalko boxes. And today we want to do the inverse, we want to get rid of the contents. And actually, there is a pretty simple solution for that. This is it. And the way it works, we push the shulker box into lava and that destroys the shulker box, but not the contents. This has, however, two drawbacks. One, the obvious one, we lose the shulker box, which is uh, more of an inconvenience because we have a shulk form. Um, so we would just need to spend the time to craft new shulk boxes. But the bigger issue here is that we get all the items dumped out at the same time. So we have to collect them uh, again and uh, all that before they despawn and that i think cannot be done with a single single hopper probably with a hopper minecart it could, could be done but uh, then we would need to distribute the hopper minecart on two hoppers into one chest um, which adds a bit of uh, of complexity so I tried my luck and this is actually the second design uh, that I did and actually already recorded it only to figure out uh, this is also not working and uh, if I do it that way until we come up with uh, a design that is working this episode is probably two hours long and nobody would be watching. So that's why I try to come up with a design and then take you uh, step by step through it because there are quite a few tutorials um, or designs, I should say, out there. But just looking at the YouTube videos, I cannot understand why they are working. So uh, the goal of this design process here is that I understand why it's working and uh, I hope I can convey that also towards you. So I will see you once I get a working design. Here is what we need to do. We break a shulk box when it's empty. We dispense a new shulk box after the breakage. And we dispense a shulk box when there is no shulk box already there. We can simplify that well, maybe it's a bit com more complicated stated when no or only an empty shulk box is there, uh, then the dispenser should pulse. The pulse triggers the piston and then triggers the dispenser. So basically, uh, Whenever we think we should place a shulker box, we pulse the piston as if to remove an empty shulker box and only then place the shulker box. And the uh, input signal, that's the difficult part that I will have to work on. I do have a somewhat working monster here. 
Uh, if I load in a shulk box here, it gets placed, it gets emptied, it gets broken. That's good. However, if I place in an empty shulker box, it gets placed, it does not get broken, because the signal here does not change. And there are a few other things that do not work. So the first thing that we have here is the signal coming out, and then we have this this latch here basically we have the power signal going around and shortly after we have a bit of delay the signal chain is broken split off so that means that uh, we only get a signal when the signal comes on we don't get a signal coming through when the signal goes down and basically here on this side we have the same setup that goes into here first powering the piston and then the dispenser and here on this side there we basically have the combination uh, this dropper has something in it and uh, there is nothing uh, placed here um, then we have an end gate here that will also trigger the whole thing the other downside here is that shulker boxes end up in here of instead of there um, and we want to avoid that by locking the hopper down there which i have not yet managed uh, but as you can see this is quite a complex and big mess as compared to the to the load tier so i think um what I will do is have a look at uh, some of the uh, of the onloaders that are out there and figure out how they are working and then we can build one of those. This design by Kale Hammeren is quite ingenious and also compact what it basically does is simplify the initial state of the problem uh, by only ever allowing one shulker box in the dispenser after that uh, this hopper up here is locked and uh, uh, therefore uh, only one shulker box can come in then is placed and then we have the two uh, comparators here so at any given time only one of them is active and one signal comes out here one signal comes out here powering this target block uh, redirecting through the node block then it goes up and we push the redstone block that either locks the hopper or unlocks the hopper so a new shulker box can go through and uh, as the locking unlocking of the hopper is a state change we detect this by this uh, observer giving the signal down and then powering this block which allows the firing of this piston uh, at the same time we also fire this one um, where we have an observer back there 
and that one actually locks this hopper here and um, through that redstone block there we also power uh, this dispenser very nice I think now I understand how this this works and I learned something. Do not try uh, to take the uh, initial state uh, as, a, as a given, but try to simplify the input condition uh, to the most simple state. Now let's jump over to the main world and see where we can place this. As we have built a loader for the bone mill, it is only logical that we build our first unloader here where we actually use bone mill. I already emptied these chests because uh, we need to restructure this a bit. So we will place one unload there, uh, one in that form. Then I think the mangrove would also need uh, a bone meal. Um, then, oh yeah, the big tree farm. Uh, however, that could be uh, tricky. Uh, we will see about that one. And then I think over at the furnace array, uh, we will also have an unloader uh, for our cobblestone there. That should be all for now. So let's get them in place and then we can call this part done as well. This is the last unloader over at the furnace array and we have one over there on our first wood farm there be behind the whole thing. We have one there uh, at the acacia tree farm and then behind the scaffolding uh, that's the one of the mangrove tree farm so in total we have four of them and that's of course not the end of it but it's the end of this episode so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider leaving a like uh, do subscribe if you don't have uh, because we will do more with these loaders and unloaders in the future. But for that you have to stay tuned. So until then, goodbye.